What is up guys, Suspense here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be doing an in-depth review and giving my thoughts on the Nike SB Dunk Low VX1000, aka Camcorder. Such a dope release. The best non-collab dunk ever released. Let's hop into the top down cam and get better look. All right, this is actually the first retail that I've owned with this box. It is a cardboard SB box with the glossy transparent Nike SB branding with the orange swoosh. And here is the box label. You can reference this for all your legit checking needs. And then inside the box, we do have a blue day code stamp there with a little YCM sticker in the corner. I absolutely love this shoe. The materials, the storytelling, those are the main two things that I use to rank a shoe. And this pair is stunning, especially for a non-collab. The amount of detail and just how unique this shoe is. Absolutely love it. This also reminds me that I still need to get a pair of those Golf 58 Dunks from last year too. I'm gonna move up front here with the Vamp and Rand. The Rand is a nice light gray, low nap nubuck. The Vamp is a dark gray, low nap new buck both feel amazing and the edge of the rand is actually curled in which is really nice and the parallel stitching is excellent around here as well the medial side continues with the dark gray new buck side panel with the light gray swoosh and eye stay area but the back third is a black composite leather with a rougher textured finish to it and then you can also start to see some of the camera references here up here on the top two lace holes we have the yellow and red circles these are actual metal in here you can actually see the bare metal part they're not colored all the way through so that's a nice little detail and then wrapping around stamped in and colored white we have program shutter speed on the heel we have a green composite leather hit up top with the black nike stitching with an excellent fidelity the edges are super clean there lots of thread then we have white balance record level then peak up here with the same two red and yellow top lace holes harder to see on the swoosh is these two arrows with control and player wrapped around the swoosh love these details this is so sick and the yellow and red, I believe, represent the old RCA cables and jacks. I remember playing on a uh, GameCube and it plugged into the back of the TV with red, white, and yellow, which I believe this is referencing. Not to nerd out too hard, but the yellow cable would be your video and the red and white would be your stereo audio. So that's really cool that they included that little touch there. And the laces on this pair appear standard at first, and it comes with a set of black oval dunk laces as well as a set of gray oval dunk laces, though both sets sets have the aglets finished in red and yellow, which is awesome. And I guess that that would make sense that you plug in your yellow and red into the yellow and red holes. Again, a super awesome little detail there. Just adds to the little special features of this shoe. And then while we're here, the tongue tag is just a standard gray on black Nike SB branded tongue tag with Dunk Low Pro on the bottom. And we already covered the back tab when we were moving around. So we'll go inside. We have our little paper shoe tree and we have our standard SB Dunk insole with a firm air unit in the heel the proper sizing in the center and our black foam up front the top is just gray with nike sb and zoom air branding on the back with the green timestamp there which is just another super unique little special feature and because i did my unboxing of this shoe already and i went over these details a little bit in that video i'm just going to keep this review a little short so let's get this video wrapped up thank you guys so much for watching my review on the nike sb dunk low camcorder aka vx1000 if you like this video leave a like consider subscribing maybe check out a video that youtube recommends you right here that's it for me today guys thank you again for watching and i'll see you in the next one